Hey guys, welcome back to Tommy Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. So, as promised, this is the basically the shakedown running video of my new TD2 um, car. I've spent a lot of time on this car because this is my two-wheel drive runner now. Um, so there's a few videos already, there's obviously the full chassis build, then there's a full body shell build. Um, and then there's a, there was a third video actually dyeing the white wheels, this neon yellow. Um, overall, fun, I love the car, especially with all the hop-ups and stuff. And there's a lot more hop-ups to go on it yet. But anyway, this is a running video. But um, the reason I've started in here is um, I, I want to show you how um, I've fitted the shorty battery. Um, so a massive shout out to my good buddy in Australia, Mick from RC Hobby Shed. Um, funny enough... Um, about a day before I was going to revisit this, Mick posted a video of his TD4 Super Avante, and uh, he, he was he's running a shorty pack in it. So I've copied, well, I've copied half of what Mick Mick's done, but I'll show you this as we get into it. I, I wanted mine slightly different, and his is a TD4. He had the prop shaft to worry about. TD2 two-wheel drive, so I think it's easier in this car. But I'm really happy with how I've done this. And the, less, the rest of the electrics are in it. So sorry, I don't want to talk on through its video. It's supposed to be about running it. So I'll bring the camera back over and I'll just show you all the electrics we've done and then we'll get out and give it its first run. Right, let's get into this. So cosmetically, all I've done, I've taken the Avanti driver figure out, which is a bit of a shame and I've realised with the electrics in, I can fit it. But it's a little bit of fiddly and I've got, I've just... Yeah, that's not for this video. Um, the only other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the wheels. I've still these. I bought extra white ones to dye, so I've got the original kit black wheels. So I'm just going to get some tires for those. I'll probably go dual blocks all around for its first run. Doesn't really matter. It's only going to be on tarmac. Right. So if you watched the build video, you'll know I have a Tamiya um, super mod Tamiya super modified 11 turn brushed motor in there. It's got this. Is, this car's always going to be brushless, but it, this is the same motor I put in my TD4. So that's. I just wanted to sort of do a comparison because the TD4 ran reasonably well with it, but I think on the TD2, with being two wheel drive, it'll be quicker. So I'm interested about that. Just on the gearing side of it as well, I've no idea. I've got the hopper, the hop up slipper clutch fitted, um, which off me my memory said it's a 79 tooth spur in there. 48 dp and i've got a 21 tooth pinion so i've really no idea on gear ratio um and with it being a brushed motor that's more important so i'll have to keep my eye on that um got savox low profile tire uh, tire <laughs> servo steering servo i'm using a tekken unlimited brushed um speedo um and tactic radio gear um which i'll be changing all of that probably bar the servo after this run um, when the new hop-ups go in and then I'll kind of finalise the electronics. Now, battery-wise, so if you haven't seen Mick's video, first of all, in my video, because I'm using the Revive RC body shell, um, the, the, the chassis has two pips here for... I can't remember what they're for, but anyway. So I ground those off on both sides so my body sits. But, I mean, that's just a personal preference for me because I'm using the Revive RC TD4 body shell. But, yeah, I'm also using the TD4 side plates. So on the this is glued in now, so this is solid, that plate. On the inside of that, I've got foam. If you can see, foam in there. I've got two layers. And then this side, this is where I've differed from Mick slightly, because um, he glued both his is. My side's loose and it holds in with two screws. Um, so yeah, two screws out, that falls out, slide your battery in, put the plate back on, two screws, and the battery's absolutely solid. Um, only thing I need to get is replace the two screws with quick release screws, um, and then that'll be done in seconds. So I'll just fit the, oh, and I've ground this bit out for the battery parts so i'll stick the battery in so you can see how it goes right that's the battery i'm using not even charged it yet it's brand new looking forward to this 5000 milliamp 100c um so i've taken the two screws out the plate comes off slide the battery in and then i won't bother boring you with the screws but you get the idea that goes on there two screws holds that in place if i bring that back you can see now why I had to gouge yours out for the battery terminals. 
But um, yeah, absolutely awesome. Right, I'll change the wheels and I'll see you outside. Right, my friends, we're here. So yeah, just gentle run. Listen for noises and all that stuff. Make sure she's going in a straight line. All right, it's just pulling a little bit. Let me just. No, nope, still pulling. Pulling the other way now. This is not flat out, by the way. Right, I think we're going in a straight line. Wow. All right. Just by that, I can tell this 11 turn motor is way quicker than expected. And also, that braking will disappear. I forgot to set, set the speedo up again like I always do. So right now when I dab brake, it locks the front wheels. Which is pretty useless, I know. Not much grip on back end. No grip, that's surprising. Can't hit slipper clutch either. Let me do a standing start. Can't tell if that was slipper clutch or the tyres. I'm uh, quite shocked at the grip on the back. These tyres were uh, plenty on them. God, that goes. This brake will disappear on its own. It only does it a couple of times. Honestly. Have a little flyby. It's quick. Yeah, it's way quicker than I thought it'd be. I wish it have fitted Neil Jewel Box on back now. Yeah, this speedo, I'm supposed to set it up before I put it in, but if you just plug it in, it just does its own settings, um, which are awesome, but for uh, the brake, it does that. But it does stop, it must recognise it or something, because it, it will stop doing it. That's pretty awesome. So gear ratio wise, fine bad is it? I mean we are talking 11 turn brush mortar. I wish this would disappear now because it does my head in. This is the last time I'll get that speedo out before I've programmed it properly because I know it's annoying. Yeah, I think the slipper's doing its job. Those back tyres are really frustrating me now. But I think all in all, for its very first power through it, that is not bad at all. Let's keep it over this side away from sun now. 
I just realised you might have lost a lot of that footage, my friends, but... God, that lack of grip on that back end is shocking. Accelerates really well. Yeah, the slipper clutch is definitely doing its job. That's not a bad setup, actually. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Right, I think what we'll do now is, because first indications are very good, apart from that silly break, um, let's get it on some grass where it's a little bit more bumpier. Right, interestingly, when I stopped in tarmac, that motor was really hot, so I've given it 20 minutes to cool down. So it wasn't ideal putting a brush motor in it, but um, hey -ho. But we'll just have a quick run on the grass. Back tyres are useless. And the grass is too long. I was really hoping to get a little bit of... Uh, feedback on the suspension with this but uh, no pretty useless front end definitely looks too um, too stiff really shocked how bad the grip on those tyres yeah this really ain't doing much is it this must be plenty crap to watch as well. Can't even see bloody suspension moving. Uh, yeah, let's call it a day at that. Well, got to be honest, that was incredibly disappointing for me as a running video. Um, so I apologise up front for that. And two errors on my part, which I'm uh, I'm really kicking myself about. I'm really, really frustrated. Frustrated. Um, the first one being the speedo, um, I knew damn well when I was fitting it, I should have got dug me manual out, because I always forget how to do it, it's quite easy, you just got to do a whole mode down, do a couple of things, and it just sets everything up perfectly, but I'm also where you just plug it in, it, it also plug and play, um, so because it had like that full ridiculous uh, back brake on it, just, you know, it spoiled it, um, and secondly the tyres, now, I've actually found something out about the tyres. I'm making this outro the day after um, because when I'd finished it and like it just didn't feel like anything went to plan. The car, anyway, I'll talk about this first. So I just had the car in here and then last night I came in, I was just looking at it and I was doing something else and completely random because when I when I dug these tyres out, these these tyres actually came on my TRF 201 and uh, there's plenty on them. You know, so I thought, I'll dig them out. What use a brand new set? Because there's plenty on these. And obviously there was no grip. So I'm thinking, I never thought, I'm frustrated with myself because I never thought of checking something. And last night, just randomly, I put my finger on the tyre and I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, there's nothing. And then I went back the other way and it grips. And I've realised I'd never thought to check the tread on them um, because it's worn in slightly in one direction. So all, if I'd have done that, all I had to do was just swap the two wheels around and I would have had a ton more grip. <laughs> so, so I'm sorry about that. I, I'm, I'm really frustrated with myself. So those two things aside, I'm, I'm reasonably... Well, I'm very happy with the car right now. I mean, this is going to be a long process getting this to how I want it. But the first battery through it was basically just to make, it, make sure it was mechanically sound. And, and luckily, I think I've done that. I had hoped to come in and then go like, all oh, right, the front end's too stiff or back end, you know, I make toe in toe, whatever. I was kind of hoping I'd be at that stage, but no, I'm not. So so obviously I'll, I'll get the tire. In fact, I won't even use these tires, but next time I do use them on whatever, I'll get them in the right direction. But I'm going to put a brand new set of dual blocks on to match the fronts. So it's got sort of maximum grip from the start. Um... The brush motor, I thought the Tamiya Super Modified Leven turn ran really well. Um, perhaps a little bit overgeared for it because it, well, it did get warm. Um, but it was quite a warm day as well yesterday. But again, we only put that motor in because it's a motor I put first in the TD4. So I knew how quick kind of that went on 2S. 
Um, and interestingly, this is way quicker than the TD4 was. Now, this has a slipper clutch, so it's got a different size spur. What is it? It's a 79 tooth spur on the slipper, and I'm using a 21 tooth pinion. So gear ratio-wise, really happy with it, you know. Um, so, yeah, that motor will be coming out now. It served its purpose for what... Because um, this wants to, be, obviously, be br uh, brushless. There is a problem getting particular brushless motors in this chassis which is part of a reason I went with a brush motor initially um, ideally if you've got something like a Tamiya TBE what is it a TBLM motor um, the pins going at the side at the on the back um, of the motor but if you've got a brushless motor where the, the tabs are raised coming off the motor and the wires it probably won't fit so I'm gonna, I've got a hobby wing brushless system that I would like to fit in this, but um, yeah, I'll have to take get into the car, take that motor out, the brushed, and put this in and see if, if it'll fit. I'm not too sure it will. Um, I do have, shout out to Duncan, I do have the Speed Passion one, which is basically the same as the TBLM motors. Well, it is the same, just rebranded, I believe. Or Tamiya rebranded re re the Speed Passion ones. Um, that'll 100% fit, but that is only a 13.5. So, anyway, I don't know. Um, so, next up for this, I'm just waiting for some more hop ups to arrive. Um, which I don't know if it needs, but I wanted to do it. I wanted to take that. I've, I've got the on order, I've got the gear diff on order from the TO6, I believe it is. So, I'm going to swap the ball diff out, put a gear diff in, and then really make the slipper clutch earn its money. Um, I've got the rear alloy. Bra arm brace to go on. I have bought the alloy steering system, which is three pieces. That's more bling, if I'm honest. Um, and while I was on there, oh, and the bevel gears for the gearbox. Um, I think that's a decent upgrade. Get rid of the two plastic bevels and put the metal ones in. And all these parts are cheap as chips as well. I get, I get, I get them from um, RC Jazz. Service there is incredible. And actually, while I was looking at all that. Um, I was actually going to order a carbon rear tower because apparently this one's really soft when you really start running it harder. Um, shout out to Nick Walker. And I was going to order one because I've got an order coming into him soon. But while I was on RC Jazz, I think it was like $18 um, and a proper Tamiya um, rear tower. Now, what sold me on it was carbon rear tower. Um, is this particular one comes with wing mounts that go on the carbon tower as opposed to the sh the kit ones which go into the chassis? So I was thinking, well, if the carbon tower, if the standard tower's weak, then obviously with the wing, if those if if it lands upside down, it could break those wing mounts or break the chassis, which would be terrible. So obviously with the new Tamiya design with the wing mounts going into a carbon chassis, I thought, all right, it's a no brain. I'll get that ordered. So anyway, I'm just waiting for all that stuff to come. I thought there was, might be one other thing I've ordered. I can't remember. I got them all from the same place. Um, but anyway, yeah, in, next time you see this car, we'll make all those changes. We'll get a brushless, proper brushless combo in there, and we'll get it straight out, and it'll be a much better run. But got to say, initial thoughts are really good, taking my dumbassness out of it. Yeah, the car, gear ratio and stuff, not, not sold on the suspension yet. Um, hard or soft um, but obviously because of them stupid rear tyres the car wasn't really going anywhere but um, anyway sorry I am dribbling on but uh, yeah I'm looking for well I'm really enjoying this project I should say um, this is going to get better this is going to go all the way through to go to go in on the, like an indoor carpet track not with these tyres um, so that's kind of where it's heading um, Possibly next year it might get get on a dirt track next summer, maybe because it is this is a runner, hundred percent runner. So that's kind of where I'm heading with it, which I think is going to be cool. But um, yeah, I'd like first first thing is over winter to get it back on the indoor carpet track, correct carpet tires, good overall setup, and uh, and just see what it can do. Um, yeah, should be fun. Anyway, my friends, sorry for uh, dribbling on. That's just what I do, isn't it? As always, thanks so much for watching. It is honestly massively appreciated. If it's the first video you've come across of mine, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, say hello. And if you do that, subscribe. And if you've subscribed, you might as well turn those notifications on for our weekly videos. That'd be fantastic. Whew, I will shut up now. And as always, my friends, happy I seeing. Mm -hmm.